Hey everyone, it's the 17th of February, it's a Saturday and it's 7.30 at night. And uh, I've got a job lot of road lamps, or barricade lamps as they're known in America. So, I'm prepared as always, not, <laughs> forgot to, right there we go. So, these lamps that I'm about to show you, I bought from an eBayer who had had them for sale for quite some time. Um, it's basically a job lot of the same lamp. There's um, 13, I think, that work, at least now, because i got a couple working. Well, I cheated. They should have been flashing, but something had gone wrong with the circuitry, so I just pulled the circuitry out and bypassed it. I'll show you what I did. Uh, later in the video but um, yeah, so I think I've got 13 working now some of these I will keep because they are actually variations of what I've got on the shelf unfortunately not lens wise but the buckets are so I'm going to keep them for now as whole lamps and I might be able to source a proper lens from somewhere anyway I'm going to rotate you down on a very groany sort of uh, tripod. <laughs> so there we go. There's 22 in total. Not all of them are on there. Well, I'm not sure I'd count 22. I'm probably count as 21, but I've got that one there, which doesn't have a circuit in, so it's just a spare lens and bucket. And if you wonder why they're called buckets, that's why. Because <laughs> it looks like a bucket when you take the lens off. Yeah, and just basically a, a decent spare bucket here. Well, I say decent. Ah, JSP, what are you doing? Look. It's a bit of a burr there where it came out of the mould. I didn't clean it off. A bit of an oopsie one, that one. Never mind. Um, some of these are going to get cleaned up and put on eBay as individual lamps. Because uh, I don't need any more of these. I've got two good ones up on the shelf. So I need to check that these Tildorn mono lamps work. And uh, I'll, if they do, I'll put them up for sale. If they don't, I'll probably go in the bin. So I'm going to check those on the bed for now. We'll get those out of the way. Put these over there for a minute. And uh, the best thing about these is you've got on and off. And there's another switch to switch it between flashing and steady burn so it's tempting to keep one more but I don't really need three <laughs> and I don't like odd numbers that's the other issue <laughs> twang that made a heck of a twang didn't it anyway uh, next up is four of these I've got four more so I've got nine of these technically spare in total now Plus some spare lenses. I think I've got three, four spare lenses and circuits as well. Unfortunately, all of them flash. And I want a few static ones. Now, I am actually watching three lamps on eBay. Um, that a, a seller I've bought from in the past, who, who's also a collector as well, um, has got... To, if they're there when I next get paid, I'll buy them, unless I can find, I think it's £20, £26, something like that, in the meantime. But if I get them, I get them. If I don't, I don't. You know, I'm not going to cry if I don't get them. <laughs> that one's actually got a good body on it. It looks fairly new, this one. You know, like it hasn't been used. I don't think these have been used a great deal, because all the reflectors are in good condition. But yeah, I'm, I want a static one. The only static one I've got in my collection is a red one on the shelf. Which um, I'll just show you. There. There it is. I was going to point on the actual screen itself. It's there. Um, and that's what he's got in this job lot. So what I was thinking is if I can get hold of this little job lot of three lamps. I could take the circuit out of the red one and put it in one of my amber ones. And I'll have a static amber one. Then I could put the flash circuit in the red one and have a flashing red one. <laughs> then have one of each of the red ones. I don't know if they ever did that option in red, but... 
So, that leaves us with a big bunch of JSP Mini LUDs. They've been around for years, these ones. But I remember this style when I was actually growing up. With the reflective strap and this style of handle. Because if you actually look, this one's got a... Actually, I can show you better on that bucket. Because the lens isn't getting in the way. You see, that one's got that style of handle. And all the reflector and everything on it. Go over there. This one has got that style of handle. So I'm definitely going to be keeping a couple of these. Um, which means I'll have one of those spare. Now, which one was it? Yeah, this one will be a spare one. I'll try and give this a clean up. I'll give, I'll give all three of these a good clean up. But I do want to keep a couple in my collection. Definitely of those two. Now there's another one lurking here somewhere. I'm not sure which one it is. In fact, that one's got a battery in it. It's a flashy one. All of these are flash apart from the two I converted to be um, steady burn. And I can't remember which ones they were. It's not that one. See, that one's actually rather dirty, but I will give all of these a good clean. And the ones I don't want, I'll either go on eBay or I might see if any of the collectors on the Facebook groups want any of these before I do that because I'll just save putting them on eBay sometimes it can be quite hard to see in these no that's not one either that's also a flashy one have I looked at this one already I can't remember it's got battery in it it's a flashy one Here's one that I converted, and the factories did this exactly the same way when they made Steady Burn. All I did, I can show you on this one, it's a bit light this way, shall we? So you see this black wire? I literally just took it from the circuit, it should have gone in that little hole right there. I haven't got anything, th ah, I have. This might be a better pointy stick. Right there. Because all the components, the, tra the two transistors, the two resistors and the capacitor were all soldered together using these um, drilled holes just in a box standard plastic base. So there's no actual individual circuit, which I suppose is good for JSP because it saved on manufacturing costs because I didn't have to buy in um, the little circuit boards, which wouldn't have been very big anyway. I don't think it would have added to the cost that much, but... That's how JSP decided to do these, some holes in the board. Yeah, this black wire went here, then there was another one that went from, I think it was here, to this metal contact. And there was another one, I think it went from this side to here. Yeah, it did, to the negative. So what I did, I took this one that goes to the bottom of the light bulb this white one here goes to the side and just soldered it to the negative contact but I've got one of these up here that was a steady burn from the factory and they use exactly the same thing with these holes in they just don't put the circuit in they solder the bulb wire straight to the brass contact so I made two of those so I want to keep one of those as well so I've got two steady burns in my collection. Um, it would have been nice if one of these had a photo cell as well, so I could have two photo cells in my collection as well, because none of them have got photo cells. Don't know if they did a steady burn with a photo cell. To be honest, I've not seen or heard of one, but I know they did flashing with a photo cell, which I have got. Um, so there will be another two of these that I will keep. That one's got a battery in it as well. So I would probably keep... Definitely this one, because that's actually a good clean one. And I tell you what, these are such a pain to get off these lenses. I thought I turned it off. <laughs> thought I turned it off and that's still flashing. So that's another definite, so I want one more flashing. I know which one it is I want though. I already know which one it is. The problem is I can't see the colour of the circuit through here. Nope, that's another white one. That's 
one of the steady burns I made. No. If I can see a sticker on the top, I'll know. Try this one. How people got into some of these to nick the fucking batteries, I don't know. Ooh. Nope, that's another white one. Minus a bulb, so that one technically doesn't work because it hasn't got a bulb. <laughs> this one? It is this one! See, that one's got a yellow circuit. And the one I've got with a photo cell in it, the flashing photo cell, actually has a... Um, red circuit so and I know they did a green one as well that I wouldn't mind finding um, so again to me as it's got a yellow circuit this is another variation so it's another one for the keep par the bucket isn't brilliant but it's not the worst I've got another spare bucket over there if that worries me that much so yeah pretty much I'd probably get, uh, try and sell some of these. I've got a friend coming up Monday who also collects, so if he wants to take a couple home with him, he can. If he wants to add a couple more to his collection. Or even a couple of them mono lights just take them out of my way. <laughs> um, there's even a maxi light down there. I might let him take if, uh, if he hasn't got one. I don't know what he's got in his collection. He's coming over for a cup of tea and a, and a talk and he wants to have a look at the collection as well, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm not sure what time Monday though. Anyway, still sticking to the subject of lamps, that is the subject of this video in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> um, I have bought one. Bought a single one on eBay. Now, I can't get to them at the minute, but I don't think. No, I can't. But I've got some green lenses from Mark I Guardsman from Tildorn. Now, Tildorn no longer exist. They are part of Rugby Plastics now, but the lamps are still made, just under Rugby Plastics. But what I've just gone and bought is the amber version of this. This is a Mark I with blue lenses with a um, strobe. Um, so I've just bought the amber version of this without the strobe. The amber one I've bought is just an ordinary filament type light bulb because I want to fit those green lenses to it. Uh, because it's different. I haven't got any green lamp up here actually and um, another friend and collector of another friend of mine and a collector and he said collector of mine um, he's posting me a couple of bits and bobs as well probably not for another few days or so yet but no rush and that's got some green Dorman lenses in for um, that style of lamp Where's my finger? There it is. Over here. Um, but I think I need the one with the um, a blank plate. I'll show you in a... Actually, I might as well show you now while we're on the subject. So if I just bring you over here. I think these green lenses would go on a lamp like this one. That's got the blank bit on the back, you know, and lens that side which they would call a mono-directional, not a bi-directional. Um, commonly used on, e on motorways, these. Well, they used to be. I doubt they are nowadays, but they used to be. And these ones, with the what they call a 360, were used by British Gas. Well, actually, I saw them used by um, a company called Transco, which, back in the 90s, and I think up until the sort of early 2000s-ish. I'm sure if King Cohen sees this video, he'll correct me on that one. Because he's a very, very knowledgeable on British gas. It's either the early... 
I don't think Transco went until much later than the mid 2000s anyway, but they used to use those uh, 360s. So, you having fun with that box, Nemo? <laughs> now, the guy I bought these lamps from, he's also a collector and he's also not that far from me, he's in Norwich as well. So I'm quite surprised, I now know of two collectors in Norwich, and plus myself, so in Norfolk alone, there's three collectors that collect these lamps. Um, but I don't think he, actually I know he uses YouTube because he's seen one of my videos. He saw the one of, I'm um, part up of, um, there were a couple of railway lamps, I'm going back a, a few years now. Um, but I've featured them a couple of times, they've got a, a wire between them. Same shape as what I've just shown you, Dorman lamps, but with a red lens one side and an amber the other. Um, and I've known, probably not long after I bought them actually, I was told that they were meant to be in some sort of case, but I say some sort of case because I didn't know what the case looked like, so I didn't actually know what I needed to look for. Um, but the guy I got these lamps from, he gave me the case for these. So I've got the case here. Let's put a bit of extra light on up here, shall we? I'm going to start up. Thank you. Yeah, so I've bolted my lamps in there. Um, Dorman case. Again, it, this is used on the, or was used on the railway lines. I doubt they use this style anymore. But those two latches open up. And that folds down. I'm actually going to turn it around for a reason. But for some reason, this side's blanked off. And I would have thought they would have had it so you could uh, have the lenses showing either side, but no. I was going to let go of that, but that would have probably lumped on the floor. But there you go. So yeah, these just bolt in like that in front of the holes. So I've, I've put them so the red side is facing outwards. Because um, you can't actually rotate these lenses. They are fixed, unlike the other Dormans, where these lenses do rotate a full 360. Um, apart from the really early ones I've got up there, they don't. They, they've got to stop on them. But anyway, there's the cable. So it just connects together there. So you put your two batteries in this top one, there's no batteries in it. Um, and the switch is there as well. And this cable connects the two to um, basically allow both lamps to flash in sync with each other. Um, plus it gives power to that bottom one, so you only need one set of batteries as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased to have this. I know the handle is broken on this side, but uh, I'm quite laid back with collecting stuff like this. I don't mind a little bit of damage like that. Obviously, I'm not going to want something that's excessively damaged, but uh, <laughs> a broken handle is no biggie. It's still got a handle that side, so I can still carry it. And believe it or not, Considering this is just a big lump of plastic with a couple of uh, big lumps of plastic inside it and no batteries, and this is actually quite heavy. There's um, a bit of weight to that. It feels heavier than the one I've got hanging up on the wall in the hallway. But yeah, I'm, uh, I am i don't know what the PM is. It's got the rail, British Rail symbol down the bottom there. Something riveted on the side here, down the bottom here as well. But you can flip these lamps around so you can have the amber side, but to, to do that, because you can only bolt the lamps through one side, you'd have to bolt them on this panel through there, which they've uh, put the holes on. There may have been an option where this side is um, free and have the um, these blanks cut out for the amber lenses. This might be a, just a, a different option that a certain railway company may have uh, chosen. I don't know. I don't know much about these boards. 
learning, but uh, I'm always willing to learn. I guess uh, I'm so interested in lamps like this because uh, well, I'm generally interested in lighting anyway, different types of lighting and whatnot. As anyone has followed my channel for a while will will have noticed, you know. I've got all sorts of lights, you know, I've got this coloured string going around here. I've got Christmas lights going around the edge of the room still. Well, in here, the hallway and the lounge. I've got torches or flashlights coming out of my backside. I've got a drawer full of torches down there. Don't use them all. I've got my favourite ones that I like to use. But yet, I'm still buying them. <laughs> if I see some I like, I still buy it. I got two from a charity shop uh, just a couple of days ago. One of them is down at Mum's though. <clears throat> because they haven't got really any sort of decent torches. A couple of old shitty ones that are about as bright as a candle. <laughs> I actually think a candle would be more use than at least one of their torches. So um, I've took one, I bought a pair of them in a charity shop. Exactly the same. So I put the AAA batteries in and uh, took one down to Mum's and I've kept one here. Oh, <clears throat> I guess while we're on subject of barricade lamps, if you prefer and if you can find them, get one of these adapters or a couple or however many you want. So you can run D cell batteries in <clears throat> and you could even get rechargeable D cell batteries and have a rechargeable battery for your lamps to save you keep buying them. Especially if you were using them out in the field, you know. <clears throat> and, uh, well, if you can buy big job lots of batteries, the 6 volt lantern batteries, they're quite cheap, but to get them singularly, like I would have to, they're 2 dollars here in town, so 3 quid. Two packets of these D-cells are £2, the 99p each, so one ninety-eight to be exact. So I basically save a pound by using this method. And the batteries, they last just as long as a 6 volt battery would, so... But I've got three of these in use. I do have ordinary 6 volt batteries laying around. I've actually got a, Pon a Ponasanic. I've just made a whole new battery name up, a Panasonic, a Panasonic battery. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, these ones in this board, unlike a lot of the other lamps here, and 99% of the ones I've got on my shelf that will run from one battery, even though they can take two. These, this board needs both. <coughs> It needs to fill 12 volts to work, otherwise it no worky. <clears throat> a bit of a croaky voice with all this talking now, and I haven't got a drink poured. Well, poo is what I say to that. Uh. And all of these lamps, you know, or well, most of them, there is some here that I couldn't, but I could actually make them so that they are compliant but most of these I could use on the road the red ones I don't think I could, not legally <clears throat> definitely not the blue one, not legally or well, neither of my blue ones, not legally <laughs> but any of the amber ones I can because what they need for UK regulation on the street is obviously an amber lens and a reflector and the reflector could be scotch tape like this, which I can get on eBay, and I want to get some because there's some that I want to put new stickers on. Or um, <clears throat> the other option is um, a reflector around the lens. It's got to have an amber reflector of some sort. I don't know why. It's a light. I suppose it's in case the light fails, it just has that sort of emergency backup I suppose I don't know there must be a logical reason there somewhere that they require that <clears throat> well that means I couldn't use my three American ones up there even though well one of them's red but 
The other two have amber. Oh, actually, yes, I could. Dum dum, because I've got the reflector around the lens. Aside from my blue and my red ones, well, I can't use these ones because I haven't got the reflector around the bucket. But like I said, if I buy that scotch tape, I could put that around here and then it'd be legal. But I don't think anyone really cares and I don't think anyone would police it anyway. <clears throat> Not for a little old person like me. Maybe if I was running a business, then yes, I would have to make sure the equipment is, um, you know, compliant with regulations. But the average Joe like me, if I needed a lamp just to mark something temporarily, I could grab any one of these if I really wanted to. But to be honest, that's why I've kept a bunch of these uh, uni lamps. <clears throat> Which is actually quite handy because... Uh, Mum's driveway at the back, as you know, is not very big. So, usually when I'm doing something with one of the cars, I'm out on the road. So I do like to have a cone with a lamp on it, just in case I'm roadside, not pavement side. And it's getting dark, so... Anyway, I'm going to shut this video off. I've uh, covered everything lamp-wise. So yeah. Know anyone that wants a mini lamp? Mini light, rather. I think buying these, even though they were quite expensive, um, at £60 for the lot, but I think it was worth it just for that. <laughs> just for this marker board. Uh, so, yeah. And I've got a few more different lamps to add to my collection, like uh, that one with the yellow circuit board and whatnot. So, and some of the older style, the what the buckets with the different handle and the, no reflector, they're older style, earlier style buckets, but I don't have the earlier lenses, which is a bit disappointing, but never mind. I'm happy with them as they are. Still technically a variation, because the bucket is different. <laughs> anyway, it seems I could ramble about lights all night long, so I'm going to shut the camera off. So thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye!